what's going on you guys it's KP here bringing you another boxing video on the road <laughs> I think you guys know what time it is I think it's I think it's prediction time you know a prediction I've been eagerly wanting to make for about mm, five years now uh, first off I just want to state in this video I will not be talking about anything that happened with negotiations I will not be talking about past alleged drug use. I don't care. I don't want to talk about it. This is a prediction video. I will try to make this as in-depth as possible while still keeping it maybe around 10, 15 minutes. I don't want to, I could probably spend half an hour breaking down this fight for you guys, but I don't think anybody wants to really sit through a 30 minute video. So we'll just get right to the, right to the chase. Okay, the first thing about this fight uh, obviously we've been waiting for it for five years should have happened five years ago but you know I'll take what I can get at least we finally fucking got it there's a lot of people that including myself that didn't actually believe we were ever gonna see it until recently I did predict in a couple videos back that I thought it would happen just because neither fighter really has a choice anymore they kind of are being forced to make the fight because Floyd doesn't have anybody to fight Pacquiao doesn't have anybody to fight at 147, so they got to fight each other. Uh, there are two ways I can see this fight going. I, I don't think either fighter gets knocked out. I'm going to go ahead and say that, and I know there's people that say, well, Pacquiao's got tremendous punch and power. Haven't seen it since 2009, guys. He hasn't really knocked anybody out since Ricky Hatton. Yes, you can say Miguel Cotto, but Cotto was still on his feet. It was the 12th round with like a minute left to go in the fight. In my, in my opinion, the ref should have either stopped that fight sooner or he should have let Cotto go out on his shield. It was the fucking 12th round. The guy had already taken a beat and let him go out on his shield. So the last knockout that Pacquiao had was Ricky Hatton. And I don't know how much stock you really want to put into that. I mean, I like Ricky Hatton. He seems like a cool guy, but as a fighter, you know, the two biggest tests of his career, he got absolutely annihilated in. I mean, Floyd fucked around with him for 10 rounds and then knocked him out with a check left hook. And Pacquiao just said, well, I'm just going to get this guy out of here. If he's going to fight me like this, I'm just going to take him out. Took him out in the second round. Um, so I don't think Pacquiao knocks Floyd out. I don't think he has the, the as much power as people put him out to have at 147. And Floyd is also the naturally bigger guy. He's going to weigh more. And he's never, I mean, guys, he's never been knocked down. So am I really going to think that Pacquiao is going to be the first guy to knock him out? No. And likewise, people saying, well, Marquez knocked out Pacquiao. Floyd can do it. I don't think so. I'm not going to say Marquez has more power than Floyd. But again, I stated it in my Pacquiao 4, Marquez 4 post-fight video. That shot that Marquez landed was just a once-in-a-lifetime shot. You know, Yes, he knocked him down with the same shot early in the fight. But again, how many times are you going to get a guy that literally jumps into your power shot? Pacquiao jumped into the shot and it hit him clean on the chin. I mean, most guys would have been knocked out from that. So, and Marquez never knocked him down in any of their other fights. So, I, I mean, I can't really, a flash knockout like that, like that I'm not going to say Floyd can do it. And, and, and once again, Marquez was taking a little bit of a beating in that round before he knocked him out. He was taking a lot of risks in that fight to land those overhand rights, which I don't think Floyd will do. So I think you can pretty much rule the knockouts out. I think this goes the distance. And it's going to be a battle of Floyd's straight right hand against Pacquiao's straight left. Now, both of those punches, both of, both of those punches are tremendous punches. They're both accurate with their lead rear hands. They're both very strong with it. You know, uh, Pacquiao's, I would say, packs a little more punch, but I would say Floyd is actually a little better with timing his right hand. Pacquiao just kind of double jabs and then lets it go. You know, he, he kind of throws caution to the wind and just lets it go. Um, so, wh who, who would I give the advantage in that? I would say that as a lead left versus lead right, it's too close to call because Pacquiao is basically his entire career has been as a one-handed fighter. He's never really had a big right hook. 
he's, he's still and never has had any kind of significant jab. Um, so, I mean, I think it's too close to call, but what about the other hand? What about their front hand? I think Floyd has the far superior left hand to Pacquiao's right hand. Floyd's left hook is absolutely devastating. I think it's his best punch. Um, Pacquiao's right hook is, it's really not there. His whole game plan, again, guys, you got to realize this about Pacquiao. It's not a knock on him, and it's not saying he's a bad fighter. But his entire game plan revolves around him landing a straight left hand. Floyd's doesn't. Floyd can jab you. He has a good jab, a good left hook, and a good straight right. So offensively, Floyd has more tools, but Pacquiao will probably have a slight edge in hand speed and a slight edge in punching power. As far as physical strength goes, I think you got to give that one to Floyd. He, he looked, even at the weigh-in, you could tell he's just – the much bigger guy. He has a longer reach. He's taller. He weigh, he's going to weigh more on the night. And I think Floyd is actually underrated for his physical strength. Nobody ever really muscles him around in the clinch or anything like that. So as far as strength goes, I got to give it to Floyd. Uh, footwork and, and legs, I got to give to Pacquiao on this one. I think Pacquiao's legs are fresher than Floyd's. I think you have seen that Floyd's legs decline in the last three to four years. Again, now, he did move a lot against Maidana, and he looked good doing it, but it's not the same as Floyd back in, like, 2009, 2007. You know, that's not the kind of movement he has anymore. Do I think that will hurt him in this fight? I think it's not going to help him. Um, here's, here is what I see happening. If, if it were me, if I were training Pacquiao, if I were Roach, my game plan would be to circle Floyd dart in, throw two or three punches, and get the fuck out, way out. Not in the pocket, get way out to where Floyd can't counter you. But Pacquiao doesn't fight like that. Pacquiao, what I expect him to do in this fight is to try to walk Floyd down. And Freddie Roach has kind of alluded to this already. He said, we're going to kick his ass. And he's been saying, like, they're going to try to take him out early. I think he's going to try to walk Floyd down. And I think that is a mistake. I think when you have the fresher legs... You should be the guy that's moving around, circling, and trying to dictate the ring generalship. If you come at Floyd, he's better off his back foot than he is off his front foot. And fighters don't really seem to realize that. And people want to point to the Maidana fight and say that Maidana roughed him up. Guys, Pacquiao doesn't fight like Marcos Maidana. Really, no one does nowadays. Marcos Maidana is a guy that literally doesn't give a shit if you hit him. He's just going to bull rush into you and throw hooks, uppercuts, and just make it a dirty fight on the inside. Pacquiao is not an inside fighter. Pacquiao is a guy that likes to stand close to in pocket range, throw his double jab straight left, and then bounce around a little bit and do it again. Pacquiao's also not a guy that circles you, flickering a jab, and then comes in and ambushes you. He just straight ambushes you. He... <laughs> What I see happening, in the early rounds, I think Pacquiao's going to win probably the first two to three rounds. I, I, I would guess he probably will due to his punching volume, due to his weird angles, um, and just due to the fact that he, he's just going to throw a lot more than Floyd, and Floyd probably won't be quite ready for it in those early rounds. Because Mayweather's a, a pretty slow starter, guys. I mean, th think about every fight he's ever really had. He's kind of a slow starter. He takes a couple rounds to really get adjusted to you, to really try to figure out your angles and see where you're coming from. And uh, so I, I think the early rounds will probably go to Pacquiao. In the middle of the fight is where I think, I think things will start to take a turn. I think as soon as Floyd starts to time Pacquiao coming in, because again, Pacquiao style, he's an ambush fighter. He's not an inside fighter. He's not an outside fighter. He's a mid-range in-and-out fighter. And if you can time someone like that with power shots, just like Marquez did, for example, uh, you can hurt them. Now, I don't think Floyd's going to knock him out, but I think you'll start to see a straight right hand and a left hook start to land pretty regularly on Pacquiao from the fourth round, fifth round, sixth round on. Uh the thing, the thing that concerns me, I, I, I'm going with Mayweather, guys. I'm going with Mayweather by decision. But the thing that concerns me is Pacquiao's punching volume. Uh, 
recently he hasn't been throwing as many punches, and I think that's going to hurt him. But if he comes in and throws, you know, 70, 80 punches a round, I think he has a good chance to win on the scorecards, even if they're not landing, because judges tend to score activity over accuracy. Now, I personally don't agree with that, because if you want to score like that, then guys like Paul Williams would be undefeated. You know, and he would never lose a decision because he just throws 100 punches around. It doesn't matter if they land or not. But Pacquiao's a pretty accurate guy, but again, he's fighting the best defensive fighter since Pernell Whitaker. I don't know how often he's going to be able to land a straight left, and do I believe that a guy that basically is fighting with one hand, which is Pacquiao, basically just a straight left, is going to beat a defensive wizard in a 12-round fight? I'm not willing to bet my money on it. You know, if this was back in 2009, I would have gave Pacquiao a much better chance. He threw more punches, and he actually had a much more varied attack back then. He's gotten He's kind of gotten back to being really left-hand heavy lately. You know, the best fight I think I've ever seen Pacquiao fight, the best I've ever seen him look, was against Oscar De La Hoya. And yes, De La Hoya was weight drained. What the fuck ever. Excuses, excuses. Pacquiao would have beat De La Hoya no matter what shape he was in that night. Guys, Pacquiao looked absolutely phenomenal against Oscar De La Hoya. He, he had a right-hand attack. I mean, he was throwing right hooks. He was leading with his left. He was jabbing with his left. You know, um, he was circling around, going in and out, ducking under. Great head movement, but I haven't seen that lately. Pacquiao has aged too, guys. Everybody's talking about Mayweather's legs. Pacquiao's aged too. They're both, they're not in their prime. They're 38 and 36. <laughs> you know, if this would have been in 2009, I think you've got a hell of a fucking fight. I think you've got a hotly contested fight. But again, as they've aged, skill ages better than athleticism. Pacquiao has been more of a guy that has relied on his athleticism to win fights. He's just been so damn fast, nobody can stop his left hand. But Floyd's fast too, <laughs> and he has a great defense. So I think as, as the fight wears on, that straight left hand from Pacquiao is going to start to land less and less. He's going to start to get time coming in more and more. And I think his volume is actually going to drop off because who the fuck likes getting hit in the head? You know, Pacquiao, he, he tries to be good defensively. He's not a completely reckless guy. You know, he does try to be good defensively. He does move his head. But I just, I don't see it. I think Mayweather is going to win this fight like eight rounds to four. I think as the as we go down the stretch, especially in the late rounds, Mayweather will have this fight well in, well in control. But I'm not going to count out the possibility that Pacquiao wins by decision simply because... Activity sometimes gets scored over accuracy, and even if Pacquiao's not landing clean, those judges may see those 70, 80 punches around and see Floyd's 40 or 50 punches around and say, well, that guy threw more. He was just more busy and give Pacquiao the round. So, officially, I'm going to predict Mayweather by decision. I think Pacquiao has a chance in the fight, guys. I always thought he did, but I, my prediction would have probably been the same in 2009. I just think the early rounds will go to Pacquiao, and the longer this goes, you're going to start to see just how one-handed Pacquiao is. And Floyd's going to take advantage of that, guys. He's, he, <laughs> Pacquiao is good against plotting guys that come straight at him. That's not Mayweather. He's always struggled against counterpunchers. Marquez, he struggled with Bradley in the first fight. Pacquiao looked phenomenal in the second fight, but in the first fight, he struggled hard against Bradley. Eric Morales in the first fight struggled hard. He's just never been the best against guys that move away from him and that can time him coming in. And that's exactly what Mayweather is. So let me know what you guys think. I don't particularly want to get a bunch of hate comments below on a video talking about this crap. Let's try to be civilized, guys. It's a fucking, it's a great fight. They're two great fighters. You know, don't come on here with this Flomo and Pactar shit. You know, let's try to be civilized. Let's try to be smart about this and not be like little children on the comment section. So uh, let me know what you guys think, and uh, I got to get back to work. See you guys. Peace.